Hello everyone, and we're back for another episode of Stick Breaks Originals. And for today's creature feature, it, it will be on the Lego compatible custom Extinct Bricks Ichiosaurus. But first of all, I'd like to thank YouTube.com Audio Library for this awesome background music. And of course, please like, share, and subscribe. And also hit that notification button. Just click on the icons below. Thanks everyone! The winners of the Guesses PC Contest will be announced at the end of the video, but for now, here's how to join. Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and then click on the community link to be able to see all my posts. And here comes the Extinct Bricks Submarine Explorer. And in the submarine is of course Moira and she will be helping me out with the feature of Idiosaurus. Let's bring Moira. I'm so happy that I was able to squeeze this in because uh, it's a fairly simple custom and it is for my Extinct Breaks Marine Collection. The Ichthyosaurus is actually based off from this photo of the Ichthyosaurus which is very much like of a dolphin but of course it is not a fish or it's not a mammal, it is a prehistoric reptile. This is a fairly small Ichthyosaur and I do plan to have larger species of its class so do watch out for that. Mora will be coming back later for some size comparisons but for now let us have a closer look. Let's take the Ichthyosaurus from its stand and bring it closer to the camera. So here you can see from a 360 uh, degree angle, the Ichthyosaurus is colored uh, blackish blue with uh, turquoise colors on the sides and a lighter blue on the um, underbelly. It also sports the scaling details on the back as well as the flippers, dorsal flippers as well as the tail. The mouth can actually open and close, and that's pretty much the articulation for this figure. Several more details would include colors on the teeth as well as the inner of the mouth and the eyes. You can actually take off the lower jaw and put it back together. So technically, this is actually made up of two pieces. This figure also has a stud receiver on the bottom of its body so that you can actually put it on a stand or uh, include it in one of your dioramas. Overall, I'm liking the simplicity and of course the look of this particular custom figure. And that's it for our closer look. Now it's time for us to have some size comparisons. So I'm bringing Moira back in because she's a regular size minifigure, around 6 feet tall. And comparing it with the photo here, you can see that the proportions with a large Ichthyosaurus is actually just about right. Of course, to complete the size comparisons, we will have to compare it with other custom figures that I've made so far. Let's start with the Plesiosaurus. So you may notice that the Plesiosaurus and the Ichthyosaurus may have the same color scheme but uh, there are subtle differences to it as there is much more of uh, black colors on the Ichthyosaurus compared to that of the Plesiosaurus. Note also the size difference on these two uh, creatures as well. Let's move the camera a little bit farther away so that we can have more space for the next uh, comparison. The next comparison would be on the Tylosaurus. Yay! Now recently the Tylosaurus has been featured on one of my videos so I hope you guys can also to watch that as well. Now you can see that the difference on the sizes becomes more apparent when the Tylosaurus is actually a place beside the Tylosaurus because technically the Tylosaurus is a much larger prehistoric reptile compared to the Ichthyosaurus even with the Plesiosaurus. And next on the comparison list would be this mighty Mosasaurus. Now my Mosasaurus is actually the largest, the longest, and has the biggest gape of all the marine creatures that I have for Extinct Breaks Marine Collection. If you open its mouth, you can actually fit the entire Ichthyosaurus in it. <laughs> Although it's impressive in size, it's not as big as Mosasaurus Maximus from Jurassic World. 
Now we have the Megalodon to compare. It can also probably eat Ichosaurus but it's not from the same era. And here we have the lineup so far of my Extinct Breeds Marine Collection. Let's line it up together from the Ichosaurus to the end of the Fleshosaurus so that we can have a roll call. It gives me so much joy every time I bring them out like this and line them up. It gives me that sense of fulfillment. Now let's have a roll call. Ichosaurus, Megalodon, Mosasaurus, Tylosaurus, and Plesiosaurus. Yay! I hope you like this one and also Moira would like to know what other marine creatures you would like us to make next time. I'll be waiting for your comments. Which one is also your favorite? Is it the Ichosaurus, Megalodon, Mosasaurus, Tylosaurus, or the Plesiosaurus? Now I have some footages and also photos of when I was making this project. This is called Extinct Breaks at Work. So in the beginning, I think the most appropriate base figure for this one is this Lego Dolphin. So I cut it off in many many pieces and uh, tried to figure out how I will be able to make this to a proper Ichiosaurus. You see the dorsal fin should be located at the far most back and the tail flippers vertically. So after this, I uh, connected them all together and uh, started on with the sculpting. Now the sculpting phase is really simple and I was able to complete the sculpting phase really fast. I covered up several areas of the uh, belly as it is actually hollow and also made certain um, adjustments on the shapes of the flippers as well as the mouth area. When making small sculpts such as this one, I usually uh, bring out my sculpting tools uh, because it's really easier for me to um, direct clay in a certain position as my fingers are not that small as you can see. So at this point in time, uh, I called this out as a finished project. However, at later stages of the um, making of the Ichiosaurus, I did the drastic changes to this figure uh, even when it is already in the painting phase because my girl actually told me that it was looking a little bit dolphinish in a way and so I really have to step up my game and change it uh, uh, a bit so to cut the story short uh, you can see here already that I have changed the um, head of the Ichiosaurus by replacing it with a small or mini raptor uh, figure. Now it can open its mouth and it really has that reptile or dinosaur like look to its head. The color schemes are still the same as originally planned with dark blue um, overcoat and then this um, turquoise and also a lighter underbelly on the um, lower jaw as well as the lower parts of the figure. Also, I added several speckling on the um, upper portion as well as the flippers and also the tail and the dorsal fins of this uh, Ichiosaurus. Other important details such as the eyes, the mouth, the uh, teeth were also painted in uh, similar colors as that of the other dinosaurs that I've made. And here it is with the finished paint. I hope you like it. It's about time to end the video. So it is time now for us to have some last looks. Ichthyosaurus is actually one of the earliest known prehistoric marine reptiles. Science became aware of its existence during the early 19th century. Ichthyosaurus actually came from the Greek words Ichthys and Saurus meaning fish lizard. Ichthyosaurus is relatively small for its size. Ichthyosaurus average around 2 to 4 meters in length. Some individual specimens are even shorter, as much as 0.3 meters. Some species were larger, such as the Triassic Shonisaurus and also the Shastasaurus. Ichthyosaurus resembled more typical fishes or dolphins having porpoise-like head and short neck and long snout. Actually, it does look like a dolphin in so many ways. It's time for Moria to do her daily checks on the aquarium. It seems that the Aquasaurus is actually having fun on its new enclosure. 
those fake icebergs really does bring out the colors of the Ichthyosaurus. Myra is hoping for more marine creatures to add up to the Extinct Bricks Aquarium. More exciting news on this coming your way on Extinct Bricks. And that ends the video for Ichthyosaurus. I hope you like it. Now it is time for us to announce the winners of the Guess this PC contest. And since a lot of you has answered correctly, for this round we have 10 lucky picks and here they are. Harley Tantuisen, Hong Tran, Mimi Man 6451, James Don Leslie, AJ Magno, Brandon Cruz, Dodge King, Ray Huskins, Dilly Freddy, Gossip Spec Hover. Congratulations everyone! And now for our top 10! 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 Top 2 Meh 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 and Top I love Spooky Cats Congratulations everyone and I'll see you on the next Guesses PC Contest Our babies Asher and Moira has their own vlog now The Adventures of Moira and Asher Please subscribe to their channel and watch their videos as well Thanks for the support guys Please also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and here in YouTube And as we always would say Let your inner dino break roar Thank <laughs> you.